The government recommendations for the reform of healthcare in England and Wales are quite wide-ranging. A narrow but important part of that will be backing up the reforms in patient care that are required with criminal offences for absolutely the worst examples of uh, extremely poor health care. Some of the things that we did see in the Stafford Hospital scandal and the government is intending to take forward recommendations to change the criminal law. What it will do is repair a gap that has emerged in the criminal law wherein ordinary patients in hospital do not actually have a criminal offence that applies if they are grossly maltreated by um, a member of staff or by a doctor. At the current time, if you are mistreated in a hospital, it's actually, there's actually more protection for the criminal law if you die than if you don't. If you die, then the, those responsible can, in limited circumstances, be found guilty of manslaughter if there was gross negligence. If you don't die, however, it's much harder to find a criminal offence to deal with the worst cases uh, arising from your mistreatment. Now, some have opposed the extension of the criminal law on the grounds that existing remedies are enough. Those fall into two categories. It's possible, of course, to sue a hospital trust if you have suffered some kind of harm, sue them in civil law for negligence, or it's possible, of course, to take anyone concerned, any doctor or nurse, to a disciplinary um, tribunal to try to invoke internal procedures. Only those two remedies are available, and they are difficult remedies to take because they do rely very substantially on great efforts being made by the victim, the patient, who may not be in a good condition, actually, to start taking action in the High Court or um, taking action through um, medical bodies to, to seek redress and some kind of examination of their conduct.